Hey, it's Deborah. I'm popping in here just for a really quick message and I want to share with you something. So I teased you a little bit with this video title and it is really fix your fat problem. If you're struggling with putting on extra weight and or it's depositing right around your middle, especially if you've got 20 or more pounds to lose, maybe you had a little bit pandemic came, you got a little bit more, you're kind of in that menopause or maybe post-menopause where it gets harder to lose weight, especially if you've not been lifting weights in a way that helps you maintain and or gain your lean muscle because that is like metabolism central. It's like, okay, not only do I feel better, stand taller, have better posture, have more energy, but I actually look better in my fat storage is reduced, my likelihood of burning fat is better. You boost your metabolism with muscle. But I wanna give you this quick tip. I know it runs right after dry January. You either chose to do dry January or not. And if not, you may wanna skip this because what I'm about to say may not go over very well. And if you're struggling with giving up alcohol because it's a big deal, just said with respect, and uh, hoping that you will reflect on this, but what is it about the alcohol that you struggle to give up? Is it that it's a social thing? Is it that it makes you feel better? It does not make you sleep better. And that is one of the things that a lot of women believe it to be true, but the quality of your sleep is not better. Your, your depth of sleep getting into those deep sleep cycles is not good. So that whole idea of nightcap is a myth. You actually will sleep much better, but it may take a while. If you've had alcohol in your system every day for a very long time, you may struggle as you're coming off of it, just as anybody would, giving up some kind of advice. But the reason this is kind of a tragic thing for women in menopause is we may have tolerated alcohol before just fine, but now we metabolize so many more things very easily as sugar. Alcohol is one of those that we all have in your 20s, 30s, 40s, but we don't metabolize carbohydrates and sugar as well as we did. We're much more insulin resistant, meaning if it's something that elevates our blood sugar levels, it takes more and more and more insulin to bring that blood sugar level back down. And that's the role of insulin. The challenge is while you have high insulin levels in your body, which lasts for all day long. So that day is kind of just, that one's gone. You're in fat storage. So it's not like, you know, we're not gonna start drinking for breakfast, hopefully, right? But if you're even drinking later in the afternoon and you're doing this on a daily basis, some of that alcohol is sticking with you. It's with you overnight. So rather than burning fat because you're fasting, you're actually not. You're storing fat, you're in fat storage mode and it's a little bit challenging to get back into a routine and get off of that. So we look at foods, we look at the foods you eat and when you eat them. So if you are gonna have a cocktail, if you do it wisely and you do it after you've eaten or you have that appetizer that's higher in fat so that the alcohol doesn't get as rapidly absorbed, you will do better with it. And that's still not a suggestion. And here's the thing, you don't have to give it up forever. It might be better for some of us to do that, but it's a matter of while you're struggling with weight loss and you're putting on weight, putting on fat around your middle specifically, it's not just a vanity thing, it's a health risk. So heart health, as well as many other diseases, start there with belly fat. That visceral belly fat is toxic. So it's just a quick suggestion. Take a look at how you are feeling about alcohol, if you're thinking about giving it up, and, and then if you're not someone who's drinking, look at your other carbohydrates. When you take them in, when you eat them, start skewing them toward later in the day and you may actually just do better. If you want a little bit more help and support, not just with the nutrition side of things, but with the exercise and with the sleep and the dealing with stress, I walk you through it all in Fit You. Right now, this month only, it's at 50% off and I'm throwing in the metabolism makeover for women in menopause. 
in order to support you so that you're really learning not just getting the exercise, here's what you do on these days, which is what I'm telling you, but I'm also giving you a little message every week and then with the metabolism makeover, you can go just a little bit deeper and you've got access to both programs. They don't go away. So we walk you through the eight to nine weeks, depending on when you join, you get an extra week if you're like in a prep the weekend before we actually roll it out. And you will keep that even after I walk you through the program, you've got access to all the videos, you know when they were arranged, what week should you should start. So you could restart that at any point or just mix and match and use the videos as you please. So it's a limited time offer. So if you're serious, you're struggling with your fat, you can do it and you can do it now. You can do it post menopause, no matter where you are on that journey. I'm gonna put the link down below. You can look for more information and read the details.